Florida's treat. The state of Florida invites you to join the transatlantic troubadour, Harry Richmond, Freddie Rich and his orchestra, and those two merry jesters, Pick and Pat. And here's the troubadour himself, the one and only Harry Richmond. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and gather round, because it's going to be Florida's treat. And we're going to turn on music and singing and chatter and do everything we can to make you happy. Just the way hundreds of Florida orange and grapefruit growers do everything they can to make you healthy by sending you the finest fruit in the world, fruit that is fairly bursting with health-giving juice. So here we go. Let's have music, Freddy. <laughs> Fun to be a vagabond in Florida. Hey, Mr. Richmond. Who said that? It's me, boss man, Pick. And here's old Pat. Too. Oh, two more vagabonds. Pick and Pat. Come on in, boys, and let's hear you do an act. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's okay, Mr. Harry. Now the scene he was going to do now is in a tent where old Private Pat, who has just spent his first night in the army, is asleep on his cot. It's early morning. And I'm going to play the part of the big tough top sergeant. Bugle blows reveille. Ta 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 Hey there, you rookie. You in the bed there. Get up from there. Who is who who is you? It's me, your big fat top sergeant. Yeah, sir. That means that I outranks you. <laughs> yeah, I can tell that. Why? Because you look much ranker than I is. Hey, shut up. Didn't you hear that bugle blow for you to get up? Oh, well, that ain't for me, sergeant. You know, I left a call for 10 o'clock. It's only 6.30. You left a call for 10 o'clock? Yeah, sir. Where did you leave the call? On the note pinned to the colonel's tent. Hey, now listen here, rookie. The colonel can't call you. Well, he did last night. He did? Certainly. I stepped on his foot, and boy, he called me plenty. Now listen, you come on and get up from there. You go to the guardhouse. Say, what kind of E-flat hotel is this anyhow? You people had me horseback riding yesterday, and you expect me to get up today. You call that horseback riding? Yeah, How much time did you spend in the saddle yesterday? About half. You know, that horse Portland they give me, you was terrible. We have no horse here but that name. Well, I just called him Portland. Well, why do you call him Portland? On account of his mane. 
A piku, I <laughs> You know, boy, that horse, he done nothing yesterday but throw me up and down, up and down, up and down. He throwed you up and down and up and down? Yeah. Boy, you must have been out of practice. No, the horse was. He missed me six times. <laughs> Bad. Yeah, you know, that's the first time I ever rode a horse was yesterday. The first time you ever rode a horse? Yeah, sir. Well, I guess at that rookie that you felt funny. Boy, I thought I'd split. You know, I never knew that anything full of hay could be so doggone hard. Then they gave me another curious-looking old E-flat horse. He wanted to go one way, and then I wanted to go another way. The horse wanted to go one way, and you wanted to go another? But uh-huh. well, what happened? He tossed me for it. Now, that just reminds me. Now, the captain told me to ask you what become of that horse. Oh. He said you never brought the horse back to the stable. Well, I didn't brought the horse back because I'd done what the captain told me to do with him. Well, the captain said he told you to have the horse shod. Oh, have him shod? Yes, shod. Good doggone my time. I thought he said have him shot. Listen here, you flap-eared jazz act, you. No, sir. I ain't got no more time to bandy words with thou. Get up from there. You have to curry your horse. <laughs> curry horse? Yes. Don't be all silly up like that. There ain't no man that strong. Now listen, get up, get up. No, you better get up or else you ain't gonna get yourself no breakfast. Well, what's on the menu this morning? Well, we got some... I can't eat that. Uh, wait a minute. I didn't even tell you what we was gonna have and you say you can't eat them? Certainly, because I had them for supper and they didn't agree with pure meat. What didn't agree with you? You know what you was gonna tell me us was gonna have for breakfast? Now, wait a minute. Stop all that foolish and get up from there. Oh, well, now, don't get mad, Sergeant. You know, after all, it's just a little slight difference of opinions and stuff. You wants me to get up, and I wants to rest my pure body and stay in bed here. Now it's up to you to convince me to get up. Well, look here. If you don't get up from there, I'm going to hit you on top of your hard head with this gun. I'm convinced. Now, that's fine. That is, uh, I'm half convinced. Look, Captain, I'm over one eye. Yeah, well, my argument must be pretty strong. Yeah, but it ain't strong enough. Look, I'm shutting it up. Now, that settles it right now. I'm going to dump your bed. Sound of me dumping the bed. Ouch. Sound to me as I land on the floor. Now, I was going down the line here and inspect them other tents. And when I get back here, I expect to find you all dressed up. Yeah, and no back talk, neither. Goodbye. There's a doggone it dumping my bed, putting my pretty pure lambskin body on the floor like that. You know, I got a good mind to tell that rascal what I think of him. He must be pretty far away now, so I is. Say, you doggone no good cow yard, you, you great big old E-flat bully. I got a good mind to take you down, you flap-haired, funny-looking mud turtle of an E-flat sergeant. What's that you say? <laughs> oh, he must have been right outside. I say, what's that you say? I say, bed, goodbye, guardhouse, here comes pure me. Uh, tough going, Pat. I wish I could help you out. Well, you sure can, boss man. How's that? Well, just sing a song, that's how. <laughs> My class, yes, sir. My class, yes, sir. But you're not doing me any good. Sweet stuff, I'm cold, but you're so cold. Really, that's not nice. Here's some good advice. You better get off your high horse. Whoa, baby, you're riding kind of high tonight. I know that you can ride a high horse, but oh, baby, the way you're treating me, it ain't right. You're beautiful, and you show it wonderful, and you know it. Maybe that's why you abuse me. Come on and love me, or you're gonna lose me. Better get off your high horse. Oh, baby, if you'll be nice to me, I'll be nice to you. You better get off your high horse, oh baby, you're right kind of high tonight. I know that you rate a high horse, but oh baby, the way you treat me, it ain't right. You're beautiful, wonderful, maybe that's why you abuse me. Come on and love me or you're gonna lose me. You better get off your high horse. Oh, baby, if you'll be nice to me, I'll be nice to you. Doggone, boys, you sure is some. Well, uh, come on now. Let's better be getting started. <laughs> now, wait a minute. I just can't run off like this. Oh, well, why not? Why, think of the audience. Well, uh, what about them? Well, I've got a program going on here. You mean to say you can't come along with us? Us is going fishing. Oh, uh, well, uh, I don't see how I can. Well, I'll be a monkey's grandma. 
Well, then, come on, Pick. Grab the basket. Now, I'm sorry, boys. Uh, say, what's in that basket? Lunch. Mm, lunch. Well, what kind? Let's see. Well, the ham sandwiches. Yeah, I think it's home-baked ham, mm, too. Looks mighty good. Oh, it's better than that, boss. Yes, sir. And look here. Here, here's some beat-up biscuits. Mm. Hot dog, my time. I'm getting hungry already. Mm, and, and what's in there? Well, the layer cake. Uh, what kind of frosting? Orange cream. Yeah. And Mr. Harry, I'll swear it's two inches thick. Yeah. Come on, Pat. Come yeah, on. Well, uh, <laughs> listen, folks, I've got to go fishing. No fooling. But I'll be back again soon with Freddie Rich and his orchestra and new guest stars. Look for our program, will you? It's Florida Street. Play Freddie. <laughs>